There have been big changes at the top at PageCloud. Founder Craig Fitzpatrick announced last month that he would step down as CEO to pursue some different projects. But what comes next for PageCloud? We've got the new CEO, Greg Evans, here to answer those questions, plus some financial tips from TD Bank. That's today on Techopia Live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Techopia Live. I'm your host, Craig Lord. We are here on location at PageCloud, one of Ottawa's most well-known startups. You probably know them as the makers of a very intuitive drag-and-drop website builder. But there have been some changes lately. As I mentioned in my intro, Craig Fitzpatrick, the original CEO and founder of PageCloud, has stepped down. So today we're introducing you to the new guy, Greg Evans, who's been a stalwart of PageCloud, now steps into the CEO role. Before we get to Greg, I want to introduce you to Michael Armbruster from TD, our sponsor for the show. Uh, Michael, please, could you tell us a little bit about what TD Bank does for tech firms in the city? Sure. Uh, thanks, uh, Craig, and thanks, Greg, for having us here uh, today. Um, I work uh, as a relationship manager at the TD Commercial Bank in Ottawa, and uh, we work with local tech companies to uh, uh, develop end-to-end -end banking solutions. Uh, sometimes that involves uh, establishing credit facilities, but more often than not in the tech space, we focus a little more on uh, the deposit side of things and cash management, so electronic banking, uh, web business banking, and uh, some foreign exchange, and uh, we work with all of our partners at uh, TD to deliver the bank to our tech uh, clients and prospects. I'm very glad you could join us today. We'll, we'll check back in with you to get some, uh, some specific, specific financial insight from TD Bank. But uh, let's get to the man of the hour, if we could. Greg Evans, the new CEO of PageCloud. Uh, let's jump right into it, Greg. Why are you the man for the job at, at PageCloud these days? It's a fair question. Well, um, being the, the first employee and, and starting uh, early stages fundraising with Craig, I've been here. Uh, part, part of the DNA of the company uh, right from uh, our first days. And so uh, we were both clear on the vision uh, to create a product that allowed anybody to publish on the web. Um, and what's really cool about the tech is that, you know, it can be applied in a lot of different ways. So I think that my background uh, will help carry the torch and bring us forward uh, seeing through the original vision of uh, technology that allows anybody to publish on the web, uh, whatever that uh, means for them. So for today, that means um, building websites, but there's a lot of other unique ways the technology can be applied in the future. Um, so we'll be making steps towards that in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, and for our audience maybe who isn't as familiar with PageCloud, uh, a couple dozen employees now raised a really nice uh, 5.4 million, I believe it was Series A, a couple years back. Um, and, and venture capital is one of the things that we can talk to uh, Michael here uh, from TD about. Uh, Michael, when a company like PageCloud decides to take on a, a big VC round like that, uh, what are the things they have to keep in mind after they've raised that, man, that, that round and, and how the company is going to change after that? Uh, great question. So, uh, you know, oftentimes when you receive an influx of capital, it's a great opportunity to review your, you know, current banking set arrangements. Mm -hmm. And uh, with, a, with a big influx of capital, uh, you may want to review um, sort of your deposit, and um, uh, maybe make sure that you, the cash that you have is available when you need it while also earning a good uh, interest rate. Also, that influx of capital may come with a mandate to grow into a new market, so you'll want to make sure that you have the appropriate maybe foreign exchange strategies in place or your online banking platform is working for you in order to send and receive uh, money both to suppliers and receiving money from customers. Um, so those are some of the things you'd want to consider. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and let's get uh, the PageCloud perspective on this. When PageCloud took on a bit of VC capital, how did the company change uh, maybe in terms of culture, in terms of the product? W what has PageCloud been going through the past couple of years, Greg? Yeah, I think um, culturally uh, there were no changes. Um, you know, the, the team, uh, I couldn't be more proud of the team, and I think that's one of the reasons we continue to succeed and, and grow. In fact, we just had our hottest quarter uh, in the last couple of years. Um, so 
I think um, culturally things didn't change, but you start to expand as a team. So that becomes challenging, you know, making sure that as you're adding um, new people very quickly, so we went through growth spurt, I think that's pretty typical when you take on a round of financing, it's one of the reasons you do it, so that you can, um, you know, move quicker. Um, that's challenging, right? It, you know, people are taking on new roles for the first time or expanding in their role, and then you're bringing new people on. So trying to maintain that culture um, as you grow, I mean, these are small steps. I mean, we're not going through the type of growth that Shopify is going through with thousands of people, right? So I would imagine at scale, different challenges. But I think um, that was one, one piece that we had to look very closely at um, in terms of taking the, the funding on. The other is um, the, you know, the resources you have uh, for the location that you're going to be in. So we planned for growth. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons that we chose this location. It gave us an opportunity to have something new to offer employees. You know, showers if you're running at lunchtime, very easy to get to, especially with the train about to come through. Lots of great uh, eating opportunities in, in terms of the restaurants uh, and amenities down here in the market. So those were two things that, that changed for us, but really that was about it um, in terms of the, the financing. And for anyone who hasn't had a chance to drop by the Page Cloud office, it's a very cool setup. Uh, we're, we're very lucky to be to be here today for Tech OP Alive. Um, I'm very interested in the Page Cloud, the space that Page Cloud operates in. This website builder uh, kind of software. It's something that everyone experiences, but you don't really think about probably what's going on behind a website. Can you talk about you know where this space is going? You've got huge competitors, Squarespace, uh, WordPress, Wix, these kinds of guys. How is Page Cloud's product differentiating itself? And and how are you getting it out there to market? Yeah, so um, when, when Craig and I started out four years ago, he was doing a fantastic job of evangelizing visual editing solutions. Um, you know, fast forward four years, I think they're becoming the de facto standard. Um, you know, WordPress has seen hundreds of millions of customers bleed over to proprietary systems that offer a lot of advantages. Um, you know, a lot better security, uh, a lot uh, greater ease of use, um, and, and so, I think for us, what's interesting is as the market matures, you have people who started building websites on platforms like Squarespace uh, many years ago. They moved over from the yellow pages to their first website. Now what they're saying is, well, geez, you know, I look like 50,000 of my closest competitors. So in order to continue to differentiate, um, they're looking to create something custom. The challenge is to create something truly custom, you'd have to code all the responsive cut points over. So what PageCloud offers people uh, building a second generation website is the ability to get it exactly the way you want, not an approximation. So with that, um, they don't have to touch any code, right? Uh, what's happening for us now uh, is that when you, when you take a look at all these people who have built websites for the first time, if they're looking to differentiate, they, they may have also matured with their business. So they're saying, well, I don't have enough time um, to build a website, even though PageCloud makes it easy. So in January, we launched uh, a new channel initiative aimed at pros. So that could be freelancers, it could be agencies that are building business sites on behalf of others. And so um, that is an area for us to scale and grow. It was the original vision. Um, it just so happened that the TechCrunch performance dragged us into the DIY space uh, a lot earlier than we had intended. So for somebody building um, a site for the first time, uh, they, they get you know, a mature product that, that's been rounded out over the last four years. Um, so they, they get the benefit of a fast loading mobile site, um, ease of use, and uh, the ability to get something exactly the way they want. Uh, and just before we end off, I'm going to give you the mic for one last second, a uh, 30-second little response. What are the next three years look like for PageCloud? Well, what, what's the vision from the new CEO? I'll look at my crystal ball out. Um, I, I would say uh, to, number one, maintain the original vision, right? Our strength is the visual editing layer, right? There's lots of other great point solutions out there that have solved database-driven problems. Our, our focus is on the presentation layer and making that um, accessible to everyone. So uh, as I just mentioned, approximate step for us is um, pros, right? That, that's just a, a logical step because you have you know, one, one person or one team of people um, building for many others, right? So it's, it's a it's approximate step. The next, um, you know, I won't give too much away, but I mean, it could be landing page creation, it could be custom reporting modules, it could be um, a, a host of different ways the technology can be applied as a visual editor. Um, that will also probably manifest itself in terms of partnerships with other really good solutions um, that are looking to make their front end um, and presentation layer more approachable. Thank you.
partnerships and pros at PageCloud. That's the next uh, diagnosis, diagnostics for the next uh, couple of years going forward. Uh, prognostics. I, I would have gotten uh, called out in the comments for that one. Prognostics. Uh, I want to thank you, Michael, very much for joining us from TD Bank. Uh, for, for tech firms kind of looking for, for uh, TD and financial, solu financial solutions, uh, what's the best way to, to approach TD for, for their needs? Um, well, I mean, uh, coming by uh, the commercial banking office or um, you know, reaching out to me directly, I can provide some contact information, but yeah. <laughs> awesome, and uh, we'll make sure that anyone interested in that can get that uh, available on the article that will follow or, uh, or in the doobly-doo, I guess is what they say in YouTube. Uh, but apart from that, I want to just thank you all for joining us uh, for Techopia Live. I want to take a quick moment to thank, of course, our sponsors, our Techopia champions, without whom this show would not be possible. Uh, there's Number Crunch, offering virtual CFO services to SaaS firms. There's Pearlie Robertson, Hill & McDougall, which is a leader in business and tech law. There's the University of Ottawa's engineering department creating the next generation of technical talent. There's Stratford Managers, offering services and solutions to scale up your tech venture. And of course, we had Michael here from TD Bank, offering specialized services for tech firms. Of course, Techopia is not just this fantastic show. We are also available on the web at techopia.ca, where you can find daily articles. Uh, we have a newsletter at techopia.email. You can follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Tech Techopia OTT. And we're available on YouTube, of course, if you follow the Ottawa Biz Journal. Just hit the subscribe and the bell icon to get notifications. Apart from that, I just want to thank Greg again uh, for hosting us at Page Club. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we will be back. Uh, just extending the invitation to ourselves there. Uh, always, always happy to be here uh, and, and to, to hear what the future holds for Page Cloud. So uh, join us again in a couple of weeks for the next episode of Techopia Live. Have a great rest of your week, everybody.